I met with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. One hurdle left to negotiate race number eight, the Hollywood Bets Bright Future 76 handicap. And it is still standing going into the exotic. 1600 meters is the trip. Nine to two the field, number 12, New Mexico. One of three runners that Alec Laird is bringing down. Number seven, Medal of Freedom is at five to one. Master Josh is 11 to two. Seven to one, Mr. Pigal. You can get 10 to one and upwards the rest. Warren ending off the meeting, a very, very difficult race. A number of horses with chances. So let's just touch on a few horses. Number one, Mr. Pigal. Although he's far better on the poly track, he's a horse who's been running on very well at Scottsville. Hollywood bet Scottsville over the 15 and the 1600. His last effort he has beaten under three parts of a length, so he has to be thrown in. Number two, Tashman, a horse who's never far off the action. As we go on to number five, Action Stations. Yeah, number five, Action Stations. Um, certainly consistent, ultra consistent, cozy draw. Gavin Lorena, the rider. Um, Master Josh showed in his penultimate start that uh, you know he, he's, he's going to be a horse that's going to win his races. So he, he ran close up to Moya Wailaliga, whom I think ran in the Cape since, if my memory serves me correct, but huge chance. Over the page, Medal of Freedom thumped the opposition. Johnny the Thief, I know, hasn't won yet, but lightly raced, could be anything. Political parties, ultra consistent, but a value except temptation, number nine. And the list goes on. You take it over from number 10, Iron Will. Well, let's go on to number 11, Fine Admiral, 2.55 lengths behind Ibutu last time out, dropped to a 69. Number 12, New Mexico, an interesting runner, four-year-old, lightly raced, only had the three runs to date. And first time out, 25 lengths behind, so obviously something badly amiss. He came back on the 6th of July and then on the 15th of July. So this is a horse that they've given their time with, won a maiden by a short head. But the fact that they're bringing this ideal world to KwaZulu-Natal from a 12 draw, it could mean that he's above the average overall. Absolutely. He cost 380,000 Rand in the sales ring, did New Mexico, and certainly it could be anything. Yeah, he could go on and win again. And Alec Laird, stable firing, he's lost 30 runners. He's yielded 11 winners. That's uh, the stats from the official winning form. So New Mexico could certainly win again. And, uh, you know, you look at a horse like Wiley Riley, you ignore his last start. So it's a tough, tough race. It's a, it's a 76. It really, it's a quartet kind of race. But um, we don't want uh, the guys and the girls out there to say that we're sort of tipping the whole field, which we're not. We're just going through the runners that have got chances, and there's many of them. But um, for me, if I was forced to give a, a first choice, it would narrowly be no confidence at all. Number one, Mr. Pigal. I'm sticking with you, number one, Mr. Pigal will be my narrow first selection. And after that, number six, Master Josh, 10 Iron Will. You take your pick after yeah, that. Absolutely. So number one, Mr. Pigal, a roving banker for us over the 1600 meter trip. And here's another horse who gets the draw. He likes to absolutely fly at them. And Tristan Godden, he knows him. And when Mr. Pigal lets rip, it's going to be a close finish going down to the line over the 1600 meter trip. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. <laughs>